And some researchers estimate that the actual number of new daily infections in the U.S. is close to half a million. Yeah, this rise in cases comes five months after the start of the Omicron surge. Now, some are wondering if people can get reinfected. David Kaplan tried to find out for us. And David, a lot of questions here. We want to know how long do we have immunity? If we've had COVID, can we get reinfection? What have you learned tonight? Well, certainly a lot of key important questions about five or six months after that Omicron surge started. There are new variants of Omicron floating out there. We can also tell you that a defining feature of Omicron was the fact that it infected people who were vaccinated, but largely didn't get them very sick. As for reinfection, a doctor said, yes, it's possible. However, previous infections, vaccinations, and a combination of the two means people are less likely to get seriously ill. Cara Farage had COVID once. She doesn't want it again, but acknowledges it doesn't scare her like it used to. I am worried about getting it again, but I am also, you know, it's everyone's trying to live their life at this point. You know, it's been about what, two, two years plus of us, you know, living not normal and, yeah. you know, trying to just get back to at least somewhat normal life. Tracy Gruse hasn't had COVID, but is vaccinated and boosted. She's taking precautions. Sort of scary. I'm sort of scared about it. So that's why I'm still wearing a mask some places. Everyone has their own risk tolerance, but what does the data show about reinfection? But over time, if people, for example, got an Omicron infection in the very early days, their immunity may have started to wane. Dr. Amish Adalja studies infectious diseases. He says generally the protection that you get from an Omicron infection wanes between three and six months later. However, and this is Adalja's biggest point, having vaccination, a previous infection, or both makes it more likely you won't get seriously ill if infected again. Vaccines provide a spectrum of, of protection. On one end, it's infection. On the other end, it's death. So even if you get a breakthrough infection or a reinfection after having hybrid immunity, your COVID-19 bout is not going to be something that's likely to land you in the hospital and definitely not something that's going to, to kill you. And finally, I asked Adalja just about risk tolerance in general. Should we be avoiding large crowds, wearing masks, etc.? He says at this point, it is largely up to the individual. If you're somebody who's younger and thinks that you're more healthy and can handle an infection, that's one thing. If you are someone who is immunocompromised and might have concerns, that is another thing. So certainly something to definitely keep in mind. He says per personal decisions about risk tolerance, regardless of what they are, are okay at this point of the pandemic. Back to you.